All right, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, which you can't even say that at Disney World anymore, but we say it here at Spring Tree. Another exciting adventure into the world of What's, What's It Good For? It? My name's Jade Hansen. This is uh, Peter Vake. I'll be your color commentator. He is going to be your stats guy. A lot of companies got out of the projection business, uh, limiting the market, and what we noticed in projectors is the middle dropped out. You have mm -hmm. really great projectors at the collegiate level, uh, classroom, yeah. small venue, and then it jumps up into these massive, expensive, really expensive projectors, Barco, your Christie's, your Panasonic's, yeah. your digital projection. Great projectors, but fantastic. 20,000 plus another 4,000 for a lens. Do most people need that? Uh, sometimes you do because Some, there's no middle line. Yeah. If, if 4,000 lumen isn't going to cut it for you, uh, and there's not a whole lot of options in between, uh, you're going to end up jumping to a, a, a big boy projector, which is mm. not only going to be expensive, but it's going to be crazy heavy and your mount is yeah. going to be bigger, uh, more difficult to rig. So we saw a void now, as you all know, maybe you don't know, but we are very big into video walls and we do see yeah. that as a future. But it doesn't replace every single uh, need. It doesn't. Sometimes projector is the best application. And so I'm excited to say uh, we've got our own line of projectors. Our own line, it's small because we picked what we thought was really missing. We have an 8,000 lumen and we have a 6,500 lumen. Yep. Here's what's gorgeous about this. It's laser. This has already gone in a few venues and the customers were blown away because the price is nowhere near the next 8,000 lumen projector in the market, not even close. And uh, the beautiful thing about this projector, it does have interchangeable lenses. Now you're not gonna get the fancy motorized no. ones with this, but I mean, really, once it's set, why would you be changing your lens? Yeah. You have a short throw, a standard throw, and a long throw. And here's another beautiful thing. Even the most expensive lens, it's peanuts. Um, if you're looking at those big projections we're talking oh. about, you know, what's a lens go for? Three grand and up. And up, 5,000, 6,000 yeah. just for the lens. Well, for the price of a lens, of a medium lens for those projectors, you're gonna get the projector and your choice of lens. We're not, we never quote prices because videos get old and- uh, Times change. Yeah, and we don't want you yelling at us in 10 years. But you said it was only this much. <laughs> yeah, it was 10 years ago. Yeah. All right, great projector. Um, interchangeable lenses, 8,000 lumen laser. So, you know, what, what does laser mean exactly? Laser is your light emitting source on this projector. Instead of a bulb, it literally has a laser that creates your light. And what's so nice about not having a bulb? You don't replace the laser. It lasts for like 20,000 hours. Yeah, 21,000 in some cases. Because we're spring tree. Yeah, uh, it's a great projector, well made. And to give you peace of mind, we're offering a three year hot swap warranty, which means we don't fix it. Something goes wrong with it. We send you a brand new one and we send you a call tag for this one back. So uh, how, how do you go wrong with that? Plus you can replace this, I would say four to five times for the price of a Christie or a Barco, oh, yes. uh, at least, maybe more. So you're in need of two good quality projectors. You can afford to do this. Uh, now, in fact, we just replaced. It was one of those high end, I think it was a digital projection, digital projection which yeah. was about a $22,000 projector. The, it had become obsolete, so the lamps were blown and there were no more lamps. But the lamps were 1,500 each, and it was two lamp projector, 3,000 for it. For just a little bit more than the two lamps, they put in this 8,000 lumen projector. They were hesitant because mm -hmm. obviously this is not a digital projection no. projector, it's not the big boys. Yeah. Um, he reached out to me Sunday after service, actually. I didn't ask for a call or anything. And he said they were blown away. Nobody noticed a difference. And yeah, and it worked. And they saved uh, a fortune. And you know what we do here at Spring Tree? We try to bring you a product you can afford that'll work great for you, has the features yeah. you need. No, like you said, it's not a digital projection. It's not this. It's, it's not Barco. It's not Christie. It's crazy bright. In fact, we just did a library for a middle school on a massive projection screen for a middle school library. It was 16 feet wide, a 16-9 aspect ratio. 
the whole back of the library's windows, fluorescent lighting in it, even with all the lighting on, it looked phenomenal. What is our resolution on this? This is a, a 1080p. It is not a 4K. The truth is in projection, the only time a 4K is honestly gonna matter is if you're turning off all the lights in a room uh, and you're playing cinematic yeah. uh, quality movies. Because if you're doing ProPresenter PowerPoint, it don't matter. Lyrics don't need to be in 4K. <clears throat> yep, and we're gonna turn this real quick. It's your basic projector, comes with a remote control. You've got two HDMI inputs. For some reason, uh, the factory still included a, a VGA for people in Honduras and uh, Rio Lindo, as Rush Limbaugh <laughs> used to say. And of course, you could feed content from a USB stick. Um, Your controls on the projector are on, on the side. side. Oh, a, a nice little feature for when you're installing it. Right on top here, you have a uh, lens shift up, down, and left to right, so you can fine adjust it without having to swing it on the yoke. And inside here is also your release for your lens. And ugh, it's heavy. It's not a it's not a cheap little collegiate but it's uh, not projector. Stupid heavy. No, but it is a solid projector, yeah. well built. Everything you're going to need for your basic projection, and again, laser, and very nice. We really appreciate you guys watching these. And we never asked, but you know, it'd be nice if you follow us, subscribe, and uh, hit the like button. Hit the little button. Yep, so that all, all the people in Rio Lindo will find us. Yeah. And we're out. Thank you for watching.